This is how you drive a convertible. Windows up, AC on, sun in your face. By the way, it's November in Miami, so this is our winter. <laughs> <laughs> this is roadster weather oh, for, sure. for us. Matsuda, Miata. Welcome back this week. My name is Gaston Rosato. And I'm Renzo Rosato. And if you guys haven't subscribed yet, make sure to hit that subscribe button. That's what allows us to continue to do these videos every week. And this week, we have the 1991 Mazda MX-5 Miata. And that's right. But not just any Miata, guys. This is the British Racing Green Special Edition number 389 of 4,000 cars. Let's go for a drive. You got to teach me how to do this, man. All right, look. You have a, have a button right here that says unlock. Okay. We're gonna pop that switch back here. All right. And now push back. Back. And then forward. Okay. All, All right. right. This gives a good perspective of the size difference, huh? This is now a Targa. <laughs> <laughs> Man, these seats are, looks like nobody's ever sat here before. Really? And we're just cruising, we're chilling, solid, solid as can be. And I know this car has a, a nice following, and I never really understood why, to be honest. That drive was... <laughs> Due to the fact that the car is so little, it has a 50-50 weight distribution, so the balancing on the car is ideal. Right. That's why the car has been made so popular in the track, you know, race car, autocross community, because it lends itself to easy modifications and easy to drive. That's what I love about this car. Right. I call this a preservation car, guys. This is a 16,000 mile example. When most of them have been modified, it's so hard to find an original factory stock example. So this one is, you can say, has never been tracked and no, played around with really, which is incredible to find something like that. I wouldn't want to do anything to it after driving it. Like, it's just, it's this just This car great. has made it this far in life with 16,000 miles, original paint. I think it needs to maintain itself that way. Yeah. Okay, it's such a simplistic design, beautiful color combination found only on the special edition. It's English racing green, okay? Or British green as they call it. Here I have the factory window sticker, AKA build sheet. It tells us a few of the different options and things that this car came with brand new. I was actually unsure if the detachable hardtop was factory or if you had to buy it after Afterwards. the fact. Right. That is documented in the window sticker it was ordered brand new. In fact, it was $1,400. This car totals with a window sticker of $20,983, which is pretty pricey compared to your base Mazda Miata because 
that was right below fourteen thousand dollars. That's a that's a pretty big difference the, there. The car is well equipped, and we can thank Mr. Grady Brown for that. This car was special ordered by him, and we have all that documentation from Mazda when he bought the car brand new. So that's pretty cool because they put his name on the plaque right there in, in the center console. This car is dedicated to him. Now I want to talk about some of the things that. I look for in a car that's supposed to be 16,000 miles. You can't go out and buy just any car because they claim to have low mileage. Low mileage doesn't necessarily mean it's a good condition car. Right. So, for instance, we take a look at all the door gaps, fender gaps, hood gaps, bumper gaps, and you start putting a kind of like a puzzle piece together that ultimately tells you a story. Everything is very consistent from front right. to back where it leads you to believe not only from the documentation that we have but the consistency of the physical condition of the car it is a 16,000 mile car and I'm going to show you if you can pop that hood I'm going to show you a few other things look at the condition of wow. this engine bay wow I love that red header. And it's funny you it's, mentioned that, okay? Wow. The valve covers, the valve covers right. is the only thing on this car that is not original. So this is an original valve cover. It's supposed to be black. It's painted red. I like it like that. That's awesome. It looks factory. I look at little details. Every panel on this car has a decal with the serial number, the full serial number of the car. Okay, you see it right okay, here. You can well. see it on both fenders, and you can see it on the hood. This is a clear indication these are factory parts. Same is true on the doors, trunk lid, and other panels this on the car. so clean. So you want to look for that consistency throughout when you're yeah. buying a car, that is, any car really, but especially if it's such an extreme low mileage car. So let's talk about the heart of this car right here. So this is an inline four, 16 valve, 1.6 liter engine, correct? Dual overhead cam. Very easy to modify, very easy to repair. Expensive to repair, also why right. this car is, kind of has a cult following. The car is inspired originally, the MX-5 Miata, to reinvent the British Roadster. And this is why we get the special edition. And that's why the special edition is British Racing Green. So the first generation of this car, or the factory code for it, is NA. First generation it, car. It started right? off with a 1.6 liter, but from 93, they went up and jumped up to the 1.8 liter. Right, for the first gen NA cars. Another very cool little touch is the decal here, the Club America for Miatas. Doesn't mean anything, but it kind of tells you the history of who owned the who car. Who owned the car, right. And to be a club member means you're really wrapped up, embedded into that world. You can say the car has been properly maintained more than likely. Okay? And that's probably why it's been kept so original. Absolutely. The headrests have the built-in speakers in here. Built-in speakers, very it's smart. You have distinctive a, you know, feature for yeah. the Miatas. You have a Roadster, you, it's going to be harder to hear the music, but the speakers are right on your ears. Absolutely. That's awesome. So, let's jump back in. Let's go back for another drive. What do you say? Please. I just want to go. <laughs> it just wants to move. Oh, oh, that cloud, God bless it. She's a smooth, smooth drive. Oh, just so easy to drive. They got a, the ship is so short. And we're back. The car is a blast to drive, guys. Again, special edition car. I think it's most important to understand why I bought this car. We're seeing a new shift in the market, how Japanese cars are really starting to take off. That younger demographic who relates to yeah. the car is really buying it. And most of them have been modified. So to find such a clean original example is what gives the car collectability. Now it's incredible to, to state this, okay? Because the Miata is actually the most mass produced sports cars with a convertible top over a million produced. So the fact that we could still consider the car a collectible, at least I do, and that's the, kind of been the trend that we've been seeing in the market is remarkable. Like we mentioned, this car hasn't been messed with. There's no modifications done to it. So a lot of these cars that were purchased were modified for the track or just to make it a little more personal. You know, they add a body kit to it, whatever it may be. So seeing, finding something like this is a little, it's tough. It's a little time capsule. And that wraps it up for this video, guys. Please follow me, Gaston Rosado. Follow me at Renzo Rosado. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe. We'll be back next week. You got it, guys. Peace. Later.
probably look a little silly in this tiny little car, but I don't care. <laughs> All right, I forgot the keys. <laughs>